Hello, I'm Kathy, and my last video, we showed you our day trip in the elegant city of Milan, Italy. Then, we spent our afternoon wandering around in the beautiful town of Vauena by the Lake Como. In this video, we will bring you to the World Heritage Commune of Verona, Italy. Then we will explore the historic province of Vicenza and visit the city where they make great base brandy called Guapa in Vasano del Guapa. Great in Verona, Italy. Come and join me. Verona is a city on the river Adige in Veneto, Italy. It is one of the main tourist destinations in northern Italy because of its artistic heritage and several animal fairs, as well as the opera season in the Aina, which was completed around 30 AD and ancient Roman amphitheater. This is a Roman landmark called the Ponte de Piedra or Stonewall Bridge. It is a Roman arc bridge crossing the Adige River in Verona, Italy. The bridge was completed in 100 BC. It is the oldest bridge in Verona. The Chesa di Sant'Anastasia or the Basilica of Saint Anastasia is a huge and lofty church built from 1290 to 1481 by the Dominicans. This is the Torre de Lamberti. Construction of the tower began in 1172. In the May 1403, the top of the tower was struck by lightning. The tower houses two bells. The Marangola, which signals fires, work times, and the hours of the day. Santa Maria Antica is a small Romanesque church that served as the private chapel for the Scaligeri clan and is famous for the Gothic Scaliger tombs. From 1262 to 1387, the city was ruled by the Della Scala family for 125 years. When Massino I was elected as Podesta, he succeeded in converting the Signoria into a family inheritance. Then when they failed to re-elect him in 1262, he carried out a coup d'etat under the rule of the family, in particular of King Grande the First de la Scala. The city experienced great prosperity, becoming rich and powerful, and being surrounded by walls. The de la Scala era is preserved in numerous monuments around Verona. His grandson, Pan Signorio, beautified Verona with palaces, provided it with aqueducts and bridges, and founded the state treasury. 
but the raids between the La Scala brothers started by eliminating each other. This aroused the indignation of the people. And at midnight of 19th of October 1387, Antonio de la Scala fled, thus ending the Scaliger domination. Piazza de Abe was revealed by Kangwande the first and Cosignorio de la Scala the first. This is Juliet's balcony in the fictional love story of William Shakespeare's play set in Verona, Romeo and Juliet. It is unknown if Shakespeare ever visited Verona or Italy, but his plays have lured many visitors to Verona and surrounding cities. Piazza de Signori is an elegant medieval square with various buildings and towers. It has a monument dedicated to Dante Alighieri, who was a poet and a writer, and he is considered the father of the Italian language. Nearby is the Porta Borsari, an archway at the end of the Corsa Porta Borsari. This is the facade of the 3rd century gate in the origin Roman city walls. The inscription is dated 245 AD and the road passing through the gate is the original via Sacra of the Roman city. The Arco de Gavi was built in the 1st century AD. It was demolished by French troops and revealed in 1392. The Castel Vicio Bridge is also known as Ponte Scaligero. It's a segmental art bridge at the time of its completion in 1356. It was the world's largest art bridge. It has a span length of 48.7 meters. In November 2000, the city of Verona was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO because of its urban structure and architecture. So this is the church of the San Francisco. The San Francisco church was built between 1158 and 1183. Like many churches, after time, it was built at the gates of the city to welcome pilgrims who arrived after long, tiring, and dangerous journey. The building is in Romanesque Gothic style with a Latin cross layout and stone and pebbles from the Brenta River. Inside is the Museo Civico di Bassano del Guapa is the town art and architecture museum. This is Piazza de la Liberta. You can immediately notice the town hall which was erected from 1404. Not far from it is the Torre Civica from 14th century. Monumental city walls once surrounded Asano.
was founded in the 2nd century BC by a Roman called Bassianus. During the French Revolutionary War, the city was the site of the Battle of Bassano. Napoleon Bonaparte remained in Bassano del Guapa for many months. You cannot leave Bassano del Guapa without visiting a museum dedicated to its world famous Pomes Brandy. We went to Poli Museo de la Guapa. It is probably the best museum in town. Bassano del Guapa is considered the world capital of Guapa. You have to you have to press this and then put your nose there you can smell. The wooden covered bridge is the symbol of the town, built on the Brenta River, known as Ponte Vicio, which was designed in 1569 by the architect Andrea Palladio to replace the pre-existing construction from 1209. Hello, I'm Kathy. Today I am in Vicenza. Look at those ducks there. <gasps> no, it's not a duck. It's a beaver. This is the Vicenza Cathedral. Its construction began in 1482, completed in the 1560s. It is a Roman Catholic cathedral. Piazza de Signori is a city square in Vicenza. This is the Basilica Palladiana. It's a Renaissance building designed by Andrea Palladio. Vicenza is approximately 60 kilometers west of Venice. It is a thriving cosmopolitan city with a rich history and culture. Vicenza is the third largest Italian industrial center as measured by the value of its exports and is one of the country's wealthiest city in large part due to its textile and steel industry. 
Additionally, about one-fifth of pantries, golds, and jewelry is made in Vicenza, greatly contributing to the city's economy. Another important sector is the engineering, computer, components, industry. Federico Fagin, the microprocessor's co-inventor, was born in Vicenza. Since 1994, together with other Palladian buildings in and around Vicenza, it's been part of the UNESCO Heritage Site. There are 23 buildings designed by Andrea Palladio in Vicenza. Including this, Renaissance Palace, Palazzo Kiwikati. In my next video, we will show you my trip in Venice. If you like my video, please share, like, and subscribe. Ciao!